Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. We are starting a brand new week of Daily Doses, and this week we're actually going to be taking a topic, and we're going to be looking to the Word of God to see what Scripture says about it. Now, if you were at church yesterday at Shrewsbury Assembly, if not, you can catch it online, go back and watch it. But we actually talked about the topic of freedom in Christ. And myself, as well as three other pastors from our staff, were on stage discussing this, looking at different scriptures. What does it mean to be free in Christ? What does that mean for us as believers? How should we live our lives? It was a great discussion. Again, encourage you to go back and watch that. But today and this week, we really want to dive into some of those verses that we talked about, as well as some other verses, so that we can think about, ponder, and apply what does the Word of God say about living free in Christ. Now, I thought it was important today to kind of start with the foundation, right? If you're going to build a building, start at the bottom. How do we get free in Christ, right? So I want to read to you some verses from the book of John, chapter 8, beginning in verse 31. I thought this was a great place to start. It says, to the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, okay, so so cool. This is when Jesus is still walking on earth, and this is him talking directly to the Jewish people. He says, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. This is so interesting. Now, as we know, we have the benefit of being able to read past this throughout Scripture. But at that time, the Jewish people only could take Jesus's word for it, right? They could look back at the Old Testament books on scrolls and see the prophecies of this Savior coming into the world. And now here Jesus was, and they were trying to determine, is this the real deal? Is this the the person that we've been waiting for? And Jesus is here talking to them, hey, if you take what I teach you and put it into practice, you're my disciples. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And he says here so clearly, um, the truth, the truth of Jesus Christ will set you free. But listen to how they respond. Verse 33, they answered him, we are Abraham's descendants and have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free? You see, they were They were not understanding what Jesus meant by needing to have freedom. They're thinking purely on slavery terms. They're thinking, hey, we were free from way back when. We've come out of the land and we've we've, we've lived in freedom. We haven't lived in slaves for generation upon generation. We've lived as free people. What do you mean we need to be set free? And Jesus goes on to explain. Verse 34, it says, Jesus replied, very truly I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son, capital S, sets you free, you will be free indeed. Now it goes on and you can read more if you have some extra time today into more of the conversation. Some interesting things come up between Jesus and the Jews in this passage. But here's the point that Jesus is making. If the son sets you free, you are free indeed. Who is that son? We know that it's Jesus himself, the son of God that actually every single person Jesus is explaining here is a slave. A slave to what? The master of sin, right? We are slaves to our sin. We are ensnared by our sin. It's like we're bound by our sin, separated from God in bondage. And Jesus is trying to explain to the people that the only way that you can be set free is by the Son himself. And if you're set free by Jesus, you are free indeed. I remember my dad talking to me once and he said one of the hardest things that there is, is to explain and get a get a person to understand that a living, breathing, healthy person is actually dead in their sin. You see, there's a conundrum to that. It's, it's how do you explain that? And that's what people are struggling with here. What do you mean I'm enslaved? I'm free. What do you mean I'm sick and need a doctor, right? It says that God is the, Jesus is the great physician, right? He's come to set the captives free. He's come, all these beautiful imageries that we see throughout the scripture, The people back then, similar to people today, didn't think they were in need of a doctor, didn't think they were in need of a rescue, didn't think they were in need of a savior. But Jesus is reminding us that because of our sin, we are separated from God. Because of our sin, we are actually enslaved. We are actually living in bondage. And so my question for you today is, have you been set free? Or are you living in bondage? Are you still ensnared by your sin, lost not knowing that you can be found by Jesus Christ. The Bible is clear that whom the Son sets free is free indeed. I challenge you to think about that. Think about the moment in your life when you became free. And if you haven't, go in, read through John three sixteen, 
Read through um, Romans, Romans 3.23, Romans 6.23. Read these verses that describe our need for a Savior and the freedom that we can have from our sin. Hey, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today, and I hope to see you again tomorrow for another Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.